I is ego. This we all know. I want salvation. In this there are three things. I want and salvation. Remove the want. Salvation is there. And remove salvation. Want is there. But if you remove I, want and salvation have no meaning. I am angry. Now if you remove I, anger has no meaning. I am jealous. Now if you remove I, jealous has no meaning. Thus, I is of utmost importance. I shouldn't be angry, but still I gets angry. Why? Due to ignorance. Why there is ignorance? It is due to lack of vigilance. I is a self-image or individuality which separates itself from others. If all become one, then how you will differentiate between I and we? It is I that separates it from total or complete. Why I is separated from full or complete? Because there is I. Why there is I at all? This play of ignorance cannot be understood at intellectual level. So long I is present and even if you are lucky in few to understand I and go beyond I, you cannot convey this to others. The secret of eternal cannot be captured by our senses. It operates at different frequency and cannot be seen, heard, tasted, smelled or touched. It is a universal virgin energy without any manifestation. Ego turns bad when you land up in negative emotions due to it. I or ego has a quality to get attached to things, living or dead. To a thing to which it gets attached, then that thing becomes a remote control of your ego. For example, if you get attached to your girlfriend, then when that girlfriend says something good, you feel positive. And when that girlfriend says something bad, you feel bad. You lose your control to your girlfriend. If I do not pass exam, I will commit suicide. If I do not get job, I will leave home. This kind of I is very dangerous. Whenever we talk of ego, we talk of this negative thing about ego. When ego gets hurt, you get angry. Here the important thing is to note that to whichever thing ego gets identified with it, I behaves as if it is the proprietor. But in world, every hour there is some new event occurring due to which the thing with which you have identified yourself also is affected and in turn you are also affected. Outer disturbs the inner self. Unless and otherwise the identification of ego with things drop, ego will keep getting affected. Most of the time we are either thinking of ourselves or of our family, our possessions. It is a net of me and mine. Due to false identification we get trapped into it. Surprisingly, a human with limited time period tried to grasp and hold on to the things anticipating it permanent. A man who himself is temporarily holds on to things assuming them permanent and feels proud about them. All things are subject to change and decay. The bodies which come out of a phenomenon live for certain time before it gets collapsed. When we know the fact and even then we become blind to it, this need to be contemplated. Are we fooled by our own ego mind 
or since majority is fool we consider wise ones as fool have we ever lived life without ego can't we see all this or we want to live an egoistic life rather than true life we are actually intelligent fools we don't know that there is an existence even without i the stronger is i the more you are away from truth majority of us in life just keep asking the questions what is this and what is that we seldom act by listening to the various answers of various people we get confused we become knowledgeable idiots we start reading self help books how to become happy how to become rich truly speaking the publisher becomes rich not the reader first of all what is a question it is the curiosity of mind to know why mind is always curious to know for the satisfaction of the ego the question is the i uh, ego ego is an individual in the universal phenomenon thus it is scared of dying as it has separated itself from the universal phenomenon in order to live it has n number of questions the more answers it get the more he feels scared and unsafe ego is a parasite of mind when a beloved one dies then for an egoistic person it is a trauma it takes years for this person to get out of this in day to day life also egoistic people face lot of problems when someone talks badly to them they get hurt and lose temper in anger they land up doing such acts that affect their life no one wants to be friend with egoistic person egoistic people fall as an easy prey to fear depression anger hate and revenge now how to give up ego is the question to give up ego is to understand the attachment or identification of i why ego has got attached or identified it is due to pleasure derived out of things by the ego or ego feels secure with these kinds of attachments or identifications ego can be understood when the mind is in vigilance mode when we do n number of things but forget to do one thing that is to evaporate our ego we go to fortune tellers please gurus and attend meditation course with ego then we say that all these things are useless as nothing seems to inculcate change in me this voice is of the ego if you can see this then you are awakened all acts are of no use if you are not able to see what is right what is wrong you have to remove the mask to see clearly once the mask is removed there is clarity in life now you would start living earlier you were not living it was your ego living it was the ghost of ego who was using your body to free yourself from this ghost you need to see the ghost just keep seeing and keep moving once you start removing the curtains finally you will see who is sitting behind these curtains instead of fighting the curtains just remove them to the outer the reaction of mind can be positive negative or nil with respect to the ego or i reaction can make proud hurt or nil proud and hurt will be when the flow of mind is in ego mode and nil will be when the flow of mind is in eternal mode i can make you ambitious i can drive to you to depression and also can be non reactive it is in rare cases please remember one thing majority have an impression that i or ego is a bad thing in this connection i would like to emphasize that i or ego is essential for physical mental and spiritual growth it is the i or ego only which can take you to new heights once it joins with the interest once interest is there then your performance get enhanced you perform well in sports studies and spirituality positive i takes you till the boundary but to cross the boundary even this positive i needs to be dropped 
this happens when the mind operates in the eternal mode. 